Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Matt here, and on the screen is currently my sperm mount. This one is the SP-4601 model, and I had been running it for the past little while on my Voodoo Gunworks rifle. I needed another scope mounting solution because I'm currently building up a 6.5 Creedmoor, so I decided to try something a little bit different. I just received a parcel from Govic Tactical, which contained this nice little white box. And as you can see here, this is the American Rifle Company Embrace Scope Mount, which I think is gonna be a really cool alternative to something like a spur. If you're in the market for something new, you can see here obviously made in the USA. So this is not going to be a review of any means. Obviously I have not used it yet. So I just kinda of wanna show it on camera because when I was looking into this thing, I really didn't see too much online about it. So again, I just wanna show it on camera here. This particular version is for a 34 mil tube, 32 millimeters in height or approximately 1.26 inches. And it does have 20 MOA of cant built into it, which is roughly the same amount as my spur here, which is six mils or again, approximately 20. MOA. So let's go ahead and open this thing up here. I've not actually taken a look at it yet, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I'm not sure if this like paper towel material was added by Tom at GoBig for shipping, or if it comes from uh, American Rifle Company like that. But inside here we also have an Allen key, or I guess it's actually a Torx key, and the manual. So let's take a look at the mount itself. This thing is chunky. <laughs> this thing is actually definitely a little bit beefier in person than I thought it would be just from looking at pictures online, but I quite like it. Definitely a little bit chunky. Now this uses a very similar sort of split ring design as their ever popular M10 rings where you have the vertical split with the hinge on either side and you can see here it also does come with an included bubble level which is quite nice so you don't have to source another one looking at it side by side with the spur mount here you can see it's slightly shorter but a little bit wider the actual wall thickness of the mount is substantially thicker on the american rifle company the recoil lug on the bottom here is substantial on both of them and it looks like the actual screw spacing takes up a little bit less room on a Picatinny rail. The embrace does weigh a substantial amount more. I can just feel it in my hands here. I don't have my scale at the moment. What's nice about the American Rifle Company embrace mount is it actually comes with this bubble level, which is quite neat. It is removable and you can mount it to any of the four surfaces here. Now these surfaces have sort of a ridged tooth pattern to help index accessories properly. You can buy Picatinny rails for the embrace as well as like a full hood if you want to add more accessories to your optic setup, which is really neat, but I'll just be running it with the bubble level. Again, I think both these options are really cool, but what's really nice about the embrace mount is the price point when compared to a spur. It is substantially cheaper. The M10 rings are very popular and they get a lot of good feedback from the shooters that I talk to. So I really wanted to try this uh, brace, uh, embrace here. If I open up the rings here, you can see you have a smooth surface. The spur has kind of like these ridges inside the rings. Hopefully you can see that there. There's a good shot. You can see there's some texture in there. You can use some sort of powder I can't remember the name at the moment, but if you are putting this on a very high recoiling setup, there's a type of powder you can add to the inside of the rings, which apparently let it uh, hold a little bit better. But honestly, the vast majority of spur users don't even use that. So I don't foresee that being an issue here. But uh, the, the hinge design is quite neat. When they're open and there's no tension in the setup, the pins in the hinges can fall out but obviously when everything is set up, the hinges are not gonna just fall loose out of there. So I was just taking a quick look at the paperwork here that comes with the embrace mount. The torque spec for the top screw here is substantially higher than your traditional rings that have like the horizontal split. Those are usually 15 to 18 uh, inch pounds. This one here is 55 inch pounds. Hopefully you can see that. And it's funny too, because they have a little note below that explaining that it's not an error <laughs> in their uh, paperwork. It's not a typo. I'm sure they got a lot of questions about that when their rings were first released, 
people thought that was way too much but just due to the design that is how much torque you have to use in order to properly clamp your optic inside it so i'm going to go ahead and throw my scope in this and i'll install it on my voodoo Another quick note, I was just taking a look at the bubble level that comes with the embrace here. Uh, this one is not adjustable, which I don't think is a huge deal. As long as the machining is fine, you don't really need to adjust it anyway. Everything should be level with the mount. The spur one here is adjustable. You can see there's two set screws here. You can tweak the position of the bubble level. And I just made mine to read roughly the same as the one included in the base of the mount. Now the embrace here does not come with a bubble level on the bottom of the mount, just the one on the side. But what's really cool about this is you can position it in a lot of different places. So it comes from the factory in this setting here, I believe it was. Um, but you actually have this tooth or serrated interface on both sides of it. So on the back of it here, you can put it like this as well, which I think I'm going to do. So you can put it here, you know, like this, same on the other side. And on the front here, you can put it either in this position or this position as well. So it's actually pretty uh, versatile, which I quite like. And I think I'm gonna just put it kind of like here. Here is the American Rifle Company Embrace installed on my Voodoo Gunworks with my Minox 5 to 25 by 56 LR. And you can see on the bottom of the mount, the marking for the amount of cant that is built into the mount. This particular model again is 20 MOA, just shy of six mils. And here is the other side of it where you can see how I installed the bubble level to be inwards as opposed to protruding outwards like it comes from the factory. It does clear the 34 mil scope tube. So that's how I'm probably going to try and run it. The way it came from the factory with the bubble level flipped around and protruding out this way was really close to my parallax adjustment knob. You can see here the four beefy fasteners on the bottom of the pick rail there, similar to a spur mount, a little bit closer in their spacing. What's really nice about this mount is all the fasteners on the side here use 55 inch pounds for their torque spec. Again, quite a bit higher for these ring tops, but that's just how the design works. And the torque size for these fasteners are a size larger than what the spur uses. But again, this was just a first quick look at the American Rifle Company Embrace. I don't really think you could go wrong going with the spur or the embrace mount. Again, I just wanted to try something a little different. And if you're here in Canada, Go Big Tactical carries both spur and American Rifle Company. But anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.